welcome back to the channel i don't know if y'all have noticed yet or not some of you guys that's watched us in the past some of y'all are new watchers uh we live in texas so thank god for texas weather yesterday it was 70 degrees and we were out in t-shirts and shorts today it's 30 mile an hour gust and like 30 degrees outside so <laughs> thank god for texas weather but we wanted to bring y'all something so this is another guy that uh, has rode with us in the past. He went and bought a brand spanking new ride. So here's another 2021 KRX 1000. So we wanted to show y'all, this is a base model. Tanner, my brother, bought the Trail Edition, which comes with a lot of this stuff. But this is a base model, and this rig has some upgraded options from the factory that we wanted to bring to y'all because some people may not know what you can or cannot buy through Kawasaki's website. So we're going to break down the package is on this and some of the other accessories and then break it down to y'all to see what comes in that package so this is the protection package on this machine so we're going to break down the protect protection package on this machine so on the front the protection package comes with the bumper just like the uh my trail edition has but it also comes with headlight guards that mount on top of the bumper and then also on the front it comes with ar guards a, a arm guards not AR guards. I don't know where that comes from, but you know, AR guards. Cold, man. Cold. Cold. So he went over what was on the front. So from the side, uh, on the protection package of these, these don't come. The base models don't come with this. The Trail Edition does, but it does come with the heavy-duty Kawasaki uh, rock sliders, and it also comes with like a rock slider protector. So that actually wraps all the way back around underneath the rig. And it's one of the HMW skids, just like the A-arm guards. So it's got a slippery skid. The one thing I can say, I know there's aftermarket companies that make rock sliders. I don't know of a stronger or better rock slider you're probably going to find for these. Yeah, mine's pretty strong. Yeah, they take that a lot of beating. beating. One of the other cool options it has is it has the HMW trailing arm sliders as well that comes on the protection package. So on the back for the protection guard or for pe protection package, we got the rear bumper, and then also it comes to, with a tail light guard, which ties into the cage. So it's just like an add-on to the cage. And then uh, also the protection package comes with a full thicker skid plate. And so that's one thing I can say about my trail edition is it don't come with that thick skid plate and I've already cracked it. So I do like the thicker skid plate. That's a real nice feature. And then uh, also up here, the spare tire rack does not come with a protection package. That is something he has bought and added on and it just clamps on like any other tire rack for other machines. It just clamps onto the roll cage. One thing I can say about the Kawasaki stuff, the fit and finish on these is really, really good. It actually looks like it's part of the machine. It's not like an add on. I have a spare tire rack on my rig and you can tell that it's like an aftermarket accessory. Yeah, everything looks pretty good on these. Yeah, very clean, very robust. Uh, this thing actually opens up like super easy. It's got the shocks that hold it up and then you just pull it back down and it latches like super, super smooth. So another thing, we went over the protection package. This is not part of the protection package, but it is a Kawasaki option. So he bought the anti-skid uh, pad that goes down in here and the net that adds to it. Uh, I actually helped install this. It actually just glues down. You do have to drill four holes, but it's really easy just for that net to pop in. Another thing he added, this is the polycarbonate windshield, so it's not the glass one, but it is the polycarbonate. The, the fit and finish on this is still really, really great. It's actually curved. It's easy to see through. It's supposed to be scratch resistant, so we'll see how it holds up. It has the provisions to add a windshield wiper and uh, windshield washers to this that you can buy through Kawasaki. So he also bought the Kawasaki roof and it does not come in my color, the lime green, but it comes in this cowie green color, white, blue, and black, I believe. And it's also pretty neat because it's got like this little sunroof in the center of it. But uh, another thing I will say, so this is just the base model KRX. It would not come with any of this stuff from the factory that we have mentioned in this video. These are all add-ons through the protection package and all Kawasaki, other, other Kawasaki parts. So to kind of wrap it up, like we said, this is a base model with the protection package and a couple of other uh, components added to it. I know the spare tire carrier comes in one of the other packages. We're gonna put the links in this description down below so you can look at that. And we're gonna put some of the stuff up on the screen right now. 
but you can buy a lighting package from Kawasaki, which comes with LED lights. It actually comes with an alternator kit, so you can add an alternator to it. You can come with a motor package. The motor package comes with some fender flares and the windshield and different parts. And I believe there's a sport package. I don't remember the exact name of it. We'll put that link in here as well, but it comes with some different options. The one thing I will say, if you add all these parts up, just the protection package alone, I kind of did the rough math on it. Uh, through Kawasaki, it would save you about 300 and I think 50 bucks if you bought the whole package compared to buying every single thing separately in pieces. As, as we've said before, thank y'all for watching. Thanks for supporting our channel. Take a time, take a, just a minute to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn the notifications on. If you got any questions, you're always welcome to leave a comment down below. We try to answer every single comment that's left on the page. So once again, thank y'all for y'all support.